mic in so hopefully that should be much better sound <gasps> hope you're doing really well oh hello doris nope she's run off um yes so it's amala wednesday thank you so much to every single person that brought the incredible sunset stamp and of course that sold out completely didn't it so myself and tony Derrick have decided hi susan hi tracy so because the sunset stamp sold out so quickly actually literally within two hours uh we've decided to do another extra special five pound stamp today so if you'd like to pop along to the stamps by me website just type in amala and guess what stamp is on offer now hi roxy lee yeah i'm good guess what stamps on offer now well it's two stamps in one it is bonjour bonjour so of course you've got that beautiful skyline of paris with the river neve there and of course with the uh bonjour sentiment as well so if you did miss out this morning on sunrise or you just fancy another cheeky treat pop along to the stamps by me website hi lindsay hope you're doing really well hi karen now doris the cat is here today She's been a bit of a pest, so she's probably going to jump on the table. Hi, Sandra. Let's. Well done on your Facebook Live earlier, Sandra, for Pretty Penny. I was watching. It was lovely. You haven't got that one, Joe. Well, Joe, after this, or possibly on another device while you're watching me, pop along and get your bonjour. So, I'm going to do um, two demonstrations today. You love that stamp. I can't believe the brass. I know. I know. The thing is, the uh, sunrise sold out so quickly that I felt bad that people might miss out on their little cheeky Wednesday treat. So we had a little discussion this morning, myself and Tony, and we decided to just pop another one on there. <laughs> everyone yeah Doris is actually mm, she's on my windowsill which I'm kind of concerned about because there's loads of jars and stuff on there so if you hear a big crash you know that she's either spotted something or just up to mischief right okay so what we're going to do today my first demonstration I'm going to do two today she can hear me talking about it. she's coming over she won't stop drinking my paint water and I don't know why honestly she's got three bowls she's got three bowls of water I change her water every day as soon as I put my paint water on there she's straight on it aren't you Doris so the first stamp I'm going to demonstrate for you today oh great I'm so happy Lindsay that you're doing really well oh testing fed up being locked away I know but you know look at the positives we can craft we've got stuff to do haven't we we can keep going on and the thing is i know it's getting a bit scary out in the real world um it's getting really close isn't it it's, it's on your doorstep now so it's um just stay safe everyone so anyway let's get on with the sunset so if you bought this incredible stamp this morning this is just one of the projects that you can do with it um, and then I'm going to do you a sneaky little demo with the new bonjour that's on special today as well so oh try having cats Carly getting I know I know tell me about it Doris I can see right now she's looking at me because she knows I'm talking about her mm mischief all over her so hopefully you can all hear me and everything's good screen's a bit fuzzy again or do you know what i don't know what's going on with facebook at the moment there seems to be i don't know if it's because we're all online in the world i don't know what's going on miss last week's hand but it got it in my basket ah i've got to check it out naughty naughty right keeps freezing i don't know why i'm gonna carry on and hopefully it will catch up so let's stamp this oh that was my magnet this incredible stamp the sunset so i'm going to turn you around now so you can see exactly what i'm doing now if i change this because i'm actually not on my wi-fi but i don't think i'm on 4g so it should be okay right i'm going to stamp this incredible stamp first of all then i'm going to show you just what you can do with this so of course i am using my brilliant um eureka so i'm just going to pick that stamp up nicely done and i'm just going to stamp it down i'm using my versifying <coughs> excuse me but the beauty of the Eureka, even if you want to build up colours, you can go back and return in exactly the same position. So I'm just going to go over, adding this ink very quickly. 
I may need two layers of ink because it's such an incredible stamp with so much detail. But let's have a look how we are doing. So remember, if you haven't got enough strength to actually stamp, you can always use a brayer. This works really, really well on top of your platform. So it needs more. So what I'm gonna do now is just re-ink over the top. This is the thing, some people think if your stamp doesn't come out first time, it's not that you haven't got the perfect stamp, it's because maybe you haven't got enough ink on it. Now my inks, you can imagine the amount of ink I use. I could be coming to the end as well of my um, ink pad. So I'm just going over again, just to make sure I get that detail because it's just so crisp. I'm on watercolour cardstock here because we can do a little bit of painting. Let's have a look. Better. So I can go in, make sure I've got enough colour still on them areas because it is a whopper of a stamp. This is the beauty of it. It is, it's a skyline. It's just fabulous. So I've just applied ink to this layer now because I really want this image crisp, okay? Much better. I think my inks are running out, you know, my black ink. This is it, you just don't, you just don't check, do you? I have had that one quite a while. Let's have a look, because if I had a much juicier ink pad, it may have done it a lot quicker. There we go. So anyway, I've stamped this incredible, beautiful stamp. Now what I'm gonna do is show you what you can do with this. So let me just pop this out the way. I'm just gonna take this off my Eureka and I've already pre-stamped and cut, ready to go my imagery. So here we go. So I've got that incredible stamp and it's cut to the size that I want to use for my card. Really, really simple. And next I've triple stamped it. So I've actually stamped it out three times. So my next layer is gonna be this, but what I've done is I've cut quite a wibbly line across there and I've ripped that bottom edge just to give it a little bit of texture. Raise it up with some foam pads. Then I've taken purely just the bridge from the stamp. Oh, it's the jetty, isn't it? And we're gonna do some painting now. So I'm gonna do my first layer first. I'm gonna come in with my Himmy watercolors. And I'm gonna start off with my mid yellow. I'm gonna bring it in the middle because I've got a little touch of pink and a little touch of orange in there. Very simple. And we are just going straight on. So this is color straight from the palette. No water as such is added. Next, tiny dab of water into the orange again. Now bring that orange into that yellow and then this is how you can very easily start blending them colors. And this is how you can really build up that beautiful design. Okay, so now I'm gonna come into my okra. I'm just gonna pop it up here, a little bit of okra. Can you see my palette? It's absolute filth. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna put this up here, but I'm just gonna add a little tad of brown just to pull that color down a little bit. And then I'm just gonna follow some of these shadow lines that we have on the mountains. Now, this is the beauty of Imala. Whether you're a fantastic painter, whether you're a newbie, or whether you just do it because you love it, these imagery just works. It's perfect. You can create amazing, beautiful designs and make you feel like an artist, which is important. So I'm just carrying on, just going through my layers. You can see where I'm starting to add in a little bit of more color and detail. Use that color as your detail. So I'm gonna pop that there. Now I'm gonna go into my dark green. Now this brownie color that we made just a minute ago, I'm gonna add that green to that. And I'm just gonna do dots. Don't go crazy with the color. I'm using the smallest round brush from Amala. And because this is black anyway, it's just where the highlights catch, you want that green. 
So I'm just going to pick up that little bit of green again in there and just dot it as you go along. Dot, dot, dot. Dot the colour in. Now also you've got a reflection there. So I'm going to pick this up. And what we're going to do is we're going to swipe. So you just swipe across all of that lovely colour. So pick it up and you're just going to swipe it over. Now I've not added a lot of water to this yet because it, it will become much more um, colourful as we go. So the more water, the more blending you get, but then also the more saturated it can be. So you maybe sometimes you need to allow it to dry in between layers. I'm going to go into my mid blue. I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to go over here with this. And what I'm going to do is just start bringing in some colour. Now this is quite dry this brush you can see as I add this on. It's quite dry. And then you can just swipe it in and out. So you swipe it in and you can use a little bit. It's quite dry. Remember pick up your colour and then we'll just start blending down. So the reason why I'm not doing this area is because this is going to be the main focal point from when the sun comes down. So now I'm going to go back into that orangey yellow that we created in the beginning. And I'm just going to start, so I've got a little touch of that green in there as well. Come back into the yellow. And just bring that colour up. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, don't worry. If you've never tried um, painting any sort of uh, landscape, this is a wonderful one to start. So I've just touched a little bit of the orange. Can you see that? And I'm just going over the top. So I'm building layers of colour. See? Very easy. You'll notice as well, I'm quite sporadic. So I go from like one area to the next. Some people tend to um, paint in layers. Some people just paint as they go. Just allow yourself to become quite free with this. And that's the beauty of Amala. So now I'm gonna go into my darker blue, come back into that blue that I was creating here as well. Little tad of water in there, not too much. And we are just gonna layer out some of this color. So again, we're swiping out from the center and just pulling that color away. Lovely. So I'm just gonna rotate this because I really don't wanna lean on it. And I'm just gonna come in this other side now. Layering them colors beautifully. This is the joy, isn't it, of watercolour in it? Really, really is. So I'm just going to rotate that back round so I can see where I am with it. And I'm going to go in with a clean, wet brush. Now this time, as I go, you can see my technique that I'm using. I'm curling that wet brush. So what happens is everything starts blending together. So if you rotate it, it's almost like little circles. Now the trick to not getting it too dark is to make sure that you always um, dry your stamped images or leave them overnight to dry basically because if there's a little bit of wet ink as soon as you put that water on even if it is an all-purpose ink like stays on that's supposed to dry straight away you can still get a bit of a bleed. So I'm picking up a little bit of lilac now with that blue and then I'm going to bring that just in there so we get some darker Rifts and see these little rifts that we have. We're just going to fill some more colour in there. So, again, pick that up and just these little rifts. Can you see these? Just lapping away at the edge. Gorgeous. So, now I'm going to go in a little bit of grey, a little bit of white, pick that up, and we are just going to do a little bit of work on these clouds. Now, even though I'm using grey, it doesn't mean they're stormy clouds. It just highlights them almost. That's the um, beauty of grey is that what it can do is it just creates light shadows. So I'm not doing all of the whole cloud, almost just like silhouette in it, just over the colours that we have. There we go. So now 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the woodwork here. So I'm gonna take a, a chisel brush. It's my flat brush, sorry, not chisel brush. And I'm gonna pick up brown and a tad of that okra into that center. Now make sure the, the, it's not fully absorbed onto the brush. And what we're gonna do is work in lines from that edge, just pulling that color across. See that? Exactly the same the other side. Now, if you're like me, you can be a bit cat candid, um, you can rotate this round rather than lean on your work. I'm just going to drag that across. So now I'm going to pick up a little tiny bit dark, again, a bit more darker in there. Again, scrape off the edge so it's not fully, um, completely covered in paint. And then this time, instead of doing flat, we're going to do lines this way, along with the brush. It just gives you that much softer effect. You can go along the edge as well, tidy that up a bit. bit more darker on the dry brush so now I'm gonna go in with still gonna be using my flat brush I'm gonna go in some green a little bit of dark a little bit of green there mix it up here and I'm just going to use that edge almost as a um, a guide and then I'm just going to add the foliage very easy so again straight on the brush and you're pushing that color in along the edge there we go so now I'm just going to rinse my brush again and I'm just going to blend some of that, not too much, just blend it away slightly, there we go. So that's how you would paint it usually, but then you would carry on as well. But with this now, what I want to do is I'm going to quick paint, okay? So now quick painting is very different. So I'm just going straight in with my lines. very easy so straight in with your lines from the edge quite dry you can hear it it's quite dry the paint on my brush in the green just travel that line it all depends how much detail you want really on these layers so add a little tad of white and then I'm just going to add little touches of green around the edge okay don't worry I will immerse that in a little bit of yellow come up here with this See, some people just prefer a flat brush. I mean, I prefer a small round brush, but this is a great technique that if you just want to do a quick paint, you're really not sure, you just want to have a little play. This is a really easy technique. So again, from the sides, scraping it in. Other side, and then away just to get that colour on and then now some but can you see what I'm doing I'm patting it in just pat that colour in together some darker blue just a little here and there Bring that up a little 
little bit of water, blend that away. Uh, should I paint the bottom? Yes, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my larger flat brush now, and I'm gonna go into my um, okra. Straight on, you see that? Nice and easy. Just blend it away around the edges. So I'll just let that dry for a second and I will come back to my beautiful um, jetty. So I'm gonna go in my okra. Darker brown. There we go. And again, just to lighten that and to finish it with bottom, again, I'm gonna go back into that okra to use that color to blend my layers. Just gonna add a little touch of green just along here. There. Perfect. So now I've got all my layers. It doesn't matter about that because that's going to go on top of that. I'm going to come back to my original imagery. Here we go. Just with the okra along the bottom. There we go. We dry that off a little tad. So while that's the rest of that's still drying, I'm just going to add a little wet wash just on the top here. Just a little touch of water and then on that water I'm just going to pick up a little tad of blue. Very tiny, not too much. And then we're just going to allow that colour to suspend in the water. And then that will dry in those wet areas as colour. And there we go, I'll just pick up a little tad more. There we go, it's very subtle, but it just fills that skyline. Okay, then to finish, just pop foam pads on the back of all of your layers very easily and you can layer this up. So there we go, we go straight into that layer and then we have that beautiful all ready to go bridge, very very simple. There we go then I would simply add this to a black frame, pop it on a card, there we go. So that is your sunset inspiration. Hi you girls, you all right? I hope everyone's all right. So there we go. So you can see how 3D you can create it thank you so much you need you're so so kind so that's just one idea now my next idea that i've got for you i was going to incorporate uh using this with of course the brilliant sunset but instead we are going to be using the bonjour but this is what we're going to create next so really really simple six by six watercolor cardstock um and on top of that 
All we need is my brilliant aperture that I've used a million times. Love my foam pads. Oh, I get through so many. Now, I need to speak to you about the next Amala launch. Now, you may be thinking and probably tuned in today to see the sneaky peaks. Now, myself and Tony Derrick have discussed this and due to me shielding at home, the next collection is not gonna go forward until um, I'm available to go to the studio. So I'm really sorry, we're gonna postpone the next collection, but don't worry, it's there, it's ready, and you will see it soon, as soon as I'm ready to go to the studio, okay? So you haven't missed much, Susan, don't worry, don't worry, Susan. So now I'm using my Circle Aperture on top of a six by six card. This is just really, really super, super easy. So I'm just gonna grab some inks. I've got my peacock feather, a little bit of yellow, little bit of pickled raspberry. So I'm gonna pick up that brilliant pickled raspberry because I love it. And I'm going on the top section, really simple, using a beautiful blending brush. These are gonna be available hopefully this year through Amala. Um, then I'm going to clean my brush off and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that peacock feather. And just blend it all the way to the edge. And there we go. Now I'm going to come into that yellow. Clean my brush. Bit of yellow now. So there we go, a little bit of ombre inking. Now I'm going to take my whole layer, pop it on to my um, Eureka. So I've got that circle. Make sure your stencil of your aperture hasn't moved. There we go. If it has, just stick it back down or use your magnet. Next, I'm going to very simply take my Bonjour Sam. And I'm just going to pop in the side view. So it's just going to be a little touch of that skyline. So I'm going to pick this up, grab some ink. Here we go. I'll just rotate this round. Hopefully you can see where I am. I'm looking to see if I've got any other ink here. Oh, yeah. Let's go with this one. This one feels a bit more juicier so it's just that edge very quickly we'll stamp over that aperture and our ink work let's have a look how have we done nearly a bit more let me just rotate you around so I'm in the right place, that helps. Better, there we go. There we go, right. Hi friends, ooh, I want you safe and well, but can we have a sneaky peek? Okay, there we go. Using a aperture circle, do your ombre ink in, then stamp over the top. All I can say is the next Amala chapter is incredible. Um, we have got an array of beautiful stamps for you. Um, we've got animals in there. <laughs> I know, I shouldn't probably tell you, there's a dog and a cat. So it's going to be brilliant. It's absolutely beautiful. I know Sarah, she's very naughty, isn't she? <laughs> Okay, so the two projects that I've made today, so I'm so sorry to tell you the news that uh, we've postponed the next Amala launch due to me shielding at home. So obviously no one else can do Amala. Can you imagine? What? No. So I'm really sorry, we're just going to have to wait and see. So the two projects that I've done today are the beautiful Sunrise isn't it fab? I hope you got yours. And remember, special just for you. 
the brilliant bonjour stamp is available today as well for five pounds thank you so much for joining me today i hope you've had a brilliant wednesday and you're feeling inspired please don't forget to tag me in all of your beautiful imala creations honestly you astound me you are so clever um absolutely adorable take care of yourself and each other and i will see you next wednesday here at 1pm. Take care. Bye.